Hi guys, it's Kirsten with Nursing Delight. Today I have a video on IV drug calculations. I go over basic IV drug calculations to advanced IV drug calculations. I use these uh, methods every single day when I'm working and I hope you find them helpful for your use as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you a very, very, very basic IV drug calculation problem. Um, the typical formula is volume over time. So in the case of healthcare and nursing, this often translates to milliliters per hours. And that's what you're looking for is milliliters per hours in a very basic IV drug calculation problem. This tells us how many the volume a patient is getting of fluid or uh, let's say like a piggyback of IV um, antibiotics per hour. And that kind of lets us know the rate at which to um, set the pump or the... Okay, so here is an example of an order that you may receive from a doctor. Um, it reads one liter of normal saline to infuse over six hours. So the question is how many milliliters per hour will this infuse for? Well, we know uh, from basic metric conversion that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. And that is our volume in the volume over time equation. So then we know it's going to infuse over six hours and that is our time. So we do 1,000 milliliters divided by six hours and that gives us 166.6 .6 milliliters per hour or 167 milliliters per hour. And that is our rate. So let's say we are on the floor and we receive an order. Now we have our rate at which to program the pump. Uh, if you okay, the pump. so the next um, equation I wanna show you is a drops per minute formula. So drops per minute tells you, it's just another way of calculating um, like the rate that at which you could possibly set your administration set if you wanted to. Uh, this is the equation, it's the one that I use. Um, I use a volume over time equation uh, multiplied by drops per milliliter which gives us the drop per minute. Um, in this case when we're talking about time, I take how many hours I'm infusing my product and I multiply that by 60 and that gives me my time equation. So let's take a look at um, a problem so you can see exactly what I mean. Okay, so here is an equation to calculate uh, drops per minute. So let's say you receive an order that says 500 milliliters of lactated ringers infusing over eight hours. The administration set is 15 drops per milliliter. Calculate drops per minute. So what we do in our equation is we take our volume. In this case, it's 500 milliliters. And we divide that by our time. And we know that our time is our hours multiplied by 60 minutes. So we have eight hours times 60 minutes, which when you do the math, that is equal to 400, 480 minutes, okay? And then we plug in the rest of our problem here, the rest of the information that we have in our problem, which is our drops per milliliter. So we take our volume over our time and we multiply that by our drops per milliliter. In this case, it is 15 drops per milliliter. So 15 GTT per milliliter. All right, so now that we have our information plugged in and that will give us our drops per minute, which when you do the math, 500 divided by 480 is equal to 1.0416, if you wanna go that far. You take milliliters per minute, you take this milliliters per minute and multiply by your drops per minute. And when you do that, 
your milliliters will cancel. And all you will be left with is your drops per minute. And in our case, when you multiply it, it is 15.62. So, you're like, by golly, I have my answer. However, you can't have half a drop or a fourth of a drop or uh, three-fourths of a drop. You can only have a whole drop. So in this case, we would need to round up. So our answer would actually be 16 GTT per minute. Okay, so now let's look at uh, calculating infusion times. So let's say you get an order that says 1,000 milliliters of D5W over 125 milliliters per hour. How long will this bag infuse? If the bag was hung at 8 o'clock in the morning, what time will it be completed? So this is kind of a reversal of the previous problems that we had, that I had showed you earlier. So we have 1,000 milliliters and we have our rate of 125 milliliters per hour. So this is all that you have to do. Just divide the milliliters per hour. And when you do the math, milliliters cancel and you're left with the hour. So it will infuse for eight hours. Okay? So if we want to know what time it'll be completed, we can do the math. So it was hung at 8 a.m. And it takes eight hours to infuse so that we know so if we do the math and it takes eight hours to infuse and we hang it at eight o'clock in the morning, it will be completed at 4 p.m. or 1600. Okay, so let's work on a heparin um, problem. So let's say you receive an order to administer 25,000 units of heparin and 500 milliliters of D5 half normal saline at six milliliters per hour, calculate hourly dosage. So what we, we don't want milliliters per hour, we want the dose. So what we're looking for are how many units of heparin is going in per hour. Okay, so that's the end product. Units per hour, that's what we want, okay? So in order to get there, we need to set up our problem so we get there. So 25, thousand units and it's in 500 milliliters so we need to divide by 500 milliliters because that'll give us how many units per milliliter there are which is we want units per hour so we're getting there and we know that our rate is six milliliters per hour so the rate tells us how many milliliters are going per hour which is what we want so all we need to do is multiply six milliliters per hour by 25,000 divided by 500 and that'll give us our units per hour. So when we do the math, 25,000 divided by 500 is equal to 50 units per milliliter. And then all we need to do is divide by or multiply six milliliters per hour by 50 units per milliliters. And we will, when we do that, the milliliters cancel and we're left with 300 units per hour, which is what we want. So that is to calculate hourly dosage. Okay, so let's calculate the flow rate. So let's say the pharmacy sends you one liter of half normal saline with 15,000 units of heparin, um, IV infusion. The nurse practitioner ordered 750 units per hour. Calculate the flow rate. Okay, so this is really simple. It goes back to um, one of the more basic equations or formulas I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So it's simple. You do what, you, what the doctor orders, which is 750, units divided by what you have on hand. What we have on hand is 15,000 units. 
Okay? And that 15,000 units is in one liter of half normal saline. So we need to just multiply this by 1,000 milliliters because there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So doing the math, the units cancel. So when you divide 750 by 750 by 15,000 units, you get 0 0.05. You multiply 0 0.05 by 1,000, and you get 50 milliliters per hour. I guess we could put the per hour here, but that's how you solve heparin flow rate calculations. Okay, so now let's go over a weight-based... Uh, drug calculation problem. These problems are used with weight-based weight medications, uh, mainly in ICU areas, um, also in oncology. A lot of chemo is weight-based or body surface area. But anyways, let's look at this order. It says an NP orders versed 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute on a patient who weighs 150, uh, 150 pounds. The farm day brings versed 50 milligrams in 100 milliliters. Calculate the milliliters per hour. So the first thing I always do when I have weight-based problems is I calculate, I convert um, my pounds to my kilograms. So there's 2.2 pounds per one kilogram, okay? So if you uh, do the math, you wanna do 150 pounds divided by 2.2 pounds per kilogram, and that is equal to 68.18, and it just repeats itself, so on and so forth. Okay, because the pounds cancel. So you're just left with your kilogram. The next thing we need to do is figure out how many micrograms do we have per kilogram per minute with our order. So you take 10 micrograms and you multiply, we know what our kilograms are because we have it. So we multiply by 68.18 kilograms, okay? And these kilograms will cancel from here because we're multiplying it and it goes away. So it is, 681.81 micrograms per minute. So now the rest, to so solve the rest of the equation is actually very, very, very easy. Um, you've done all the math and all the previous examples. So let's, let's solve the equation to get the milliliters per hour. So we're doing the same formula with the doctor orders and what you have on hand times the volume. So the doctor has ordered 681.81 micrograms. Okay. And we have to convert our, where is it at? First said, this is 50 milligrams. We need to convert it into micrograms. So 50,000 micrograms. times 100 milliliters, it's gonna be per minute. Okay, so when you divide 681.81 micrograms per minute by 50,000 micrograms, you are going to get, we get 0 0.0136, and the micrograms cancel, minutes. And then we multiply this by our milliliters, we are going to get 1.362 minutes, or milliliters actually, milliliters per minute. 
So the next step here is just to multiply by 60 to get the hour. So 60 minutes over one hour is equal to eighty one point seven two milliliters per hour. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you'd like to practice more problems, I go over a bunch of different kinds, oral medication uh, practice problems, sub-Q injection problems, um, IV injection problems, heparin drips, weight based. Just check out my blog, nursingdelights.com, and I'll have a bunch of practice problems uh, posted there for you. You can also follow me on Twitter at nursingdelights and subscribe. I hope you guys have a good day.